ADSB, or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, is a satellite-based surveillance system. The parameters that you'll see will be position, velocity, and identification, and this is going to be seen on the 1090 megahertz range. Dump 1090 is an ADSB demodulator and a decoder that will receive the uh, transmissions and decode the aircraft transponder messages either through SDR or through network connections. This one is going to be the dump 1090. So go to the dump, 1090 in the op folder. And because I'm lazy, I already typed this out a little bit. So if we do dump 1090 dash dash interactive dash net, what that's going to do is open up a web server. And uh, within that web server, it ties into the essentially Google Maps so we can see the planes as they're flying. But also interactive, it's going to show anything that it sees flying through the air. So it looks like it's already uh, identified two, two planes. You're going to wait just a little bit for it to propagate some more data. While we're doing this, I'll go and open up the browser. I'll move this to the bottom right so you get a little bit, see it a little bit better. Then here, we're going to go to 8080, which is the default server for it, or default port. And we already see a couple airplanes. Let's go ahead and move this in a little bit closer. So we see one right here, and then one at the top right. So, essentially, you can uh, let this run a while. The file does get relatively large. Um, however, you can use the uh, RTL underscore scan file um, to create a dump file and then basically pipe it uh, to the page and just watch historical uh, flights. But outside that, relatively simple. Again, run the application. Just make sure RTLs uh, or SDRs plugged into your virtual machine. Again, we go up to Devices, USB. Once it sees this, then it just starts capturing the beacons. Again, good old flight tracker. So now let's capture some and put it to a file so we can look at it here in a little bit. So the syntax for that is going to be RTLSDR-F, and that's going to be the frequency. That's going to be the 1090. And then here, this is uh, essentially going to be the gain. Uh, gain is 50. We're dumping it to a file called output.bin. So as soon as I hit enter on this, it's going to start capturing the content, set it up, and this file is going to be uh, essentially sitting here for a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and we'll start back here in just a, just a minute. So now after we've run the RTL underscore SDR, we're going to run the dump 1090 again, but put the dash dash I file in the file we just created, which is output.bin with a dash dash net. That's going to allow us to look at the content as it's being replayed. So we'll try to get back to where we were before. Now we're seeing planes being created and added. It's hard to see, but they, they're moving a little bit. Some are being added, some are being removed. But this is a replay of what we were able to capture with just the, the basic cheap SDR. Make this a little bit bigger. We saw a couple planes from states away. We do see them moving. Sometimes they do disappear. So that means they're a little bit out of range, didn't get the signal at that time. But right now we have 18 planes. Here's another, bottom right hand side. It's going northeast. And then one going to the, the west. the right hand side, we can actually see it going through that file that we were able to capture all that content through. 
We did run this for probably about 45 minutes. So we do have a little bit more than we we're originally planning, but we do see a lot of content going back and forth. But all in all, that is 1090 dump in a nutshell. And we'll go and stop this.